Hello everyone, this is Mirzai from Cal Poly Pomona, and in this lesson we are going to learn elementary row operations. What is an elementary row operation? According to definition, an elementary row operation, or in short ERO, transforms a given matrix A to a new matrix A prime via one of the uh, operations that we are going to introduce in this lesson. The first type of elementary row operations are type 1, where we simply multiply a row of a given matrix by a non-zero scalar. Let's look at one example. If matrix A is given, 3R2 is an elementary row operation which multiplies the second row of matrix A by um, a value of 3. Now note that the index 2 here um, represent the, uh, the row number that we're going to use in this elementary row operation. So R2 stands for the second row of matrix A. Sometimes we also show an upper index like A here that says we're multiplying the second row of matrix A by a value of 3. This is a convention that we use for the rest of this course, especially when we get to uh, simplex method and um, Gauss-Jordan method. So make sure that you are familiar with this convention before you move on to the next lesson. If I implement this step, I get matrix A prime, in which the second row is um, 3, 9, 15, and 18, which is the second row of matrix A multiplied by 3. In matrix A prime, however, the first and the third row are the same as matrix A. Now, let's look at type 2 of elementary row operations. Type 2 is probably the most used um, type of operation for the simplex method. This type of operation starts with multiplying a row of a given matrix by a non-zero scalar and then adding it with a different row. In this type of operation, we usually have a specific goal in mind for an element of a matrix before we define our um, operation. For example, in matrix A, assume that our um, goal is to change the element A31 to a value of 4. Now from element A31, I mean the element that see, uh, sits in the th third row and first column of matrix A. Let's say our goal is to change this element to a value of 4. Now how we can do this um, transformation. In this example, we can use the first or the second row of matrix A. Let us choose the first row of matrix A for this elementary row operation. If I multiply the first row of matrix A by 4 and add it with the third row, I'm going to get a vector of 4, 13, 22, 27, which gives me um, the value of 4 for the first element. This is exactly what has been defined as the second type of elementary row operation. Where 4 is over C, this vector is R1 and we add it with R3. Now, now what you need to pay attention is the resulting vector which is CR1 plus R3, it always replaces this row which is R3, that we call it R3 prime. Now in this definition, you see that these two rows are the same with the difference that one is uh, belonging to matrix A and one is belonging to matrix, uh, matrix A prime. So in this um, type of elementary row operation, we're always trying to replace one row uh, with um, a linear combination of two rows. And um, usually that happens when we have a specific goal in our mind. Now let's look at another example. If my goal in this matrix A is to change the first element of the first row or A11 to a value of 0. If you take a look at the second and the third row of matrix A, you'll notice that we cannot use the third row because anything we multiply by this element here, it will give us a value of 0. So we cannot uh, manipulate the first row of matrix A by multiplying anything to this row. 
But if I multiply a negative 1 by the second row of matrix A and then add it with the first row, it will give me the value of 0 that I was looking for. So for this purpose, which is to change the first element of the first row to a value of 0, the elementary row operation will be negative 1 multiplied by the second row of matrix A and added with the first row of matrix A. That will give me this new first row in matrix A prime. So if we do this operation, we'll have negative 1, 3, 5, 6 plus the first row, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, if I um, implement this operation, we, we, we get value of 0 for the first element, negative 1, negative 2, and negative 2. By calculating this vector, we can form matrix A prime, where the first row is replaced by the vector that we just calculated here, as you see, and uh, the second and third row stays the same as matrix A. In type 3 of our elementary row operations, we interchange rows i and j where i and j are not equal. This implies that we are looking at two different rows of a given matrix. For example, an elementary row operation that is defined by R2, two-sided arrow R1, is an elementary row operation which shows the interchange between the second and first row of matrix A. Now, the resulting matrix, which is usually shown by A prime, will be this new matrix. With this, we have concluded our elementary row operation lesson. Please refer to your blackboard for your assignments. Thank you.